the MTA here in New York, which is uh, the Mass Transit Authority, they had to officially ban shitting in the subways. You and mean Robin in the train? In the or, train. Okay, not at the In stadium. the train. I just wonder how they're going to catch the culprits. That's all I'm saying. The worst shitting story I ever heard on a subway. <laughs> Richard Christie, who is gross to begin with, he was on the subway and it was empty. And he's from Kansas. He didn't know what was going on. And he was like, oh, my God, an empty car. This is great. And he took a seat and he sat down in a big pile of shit. Like he zeroed right. He sat squared how down on the shit. How did he miss it? Well, most people, if you sat in some homeless guy's shit, you'd go home. Richard then was on his way to a bar and there's shit all over at the outside of his pants. And he goes to the bar and he spent the night there. It was like a two hour trip to the, the heart of Brooklyn from the Upper West Side. And I was I was halfway like through my trip and I wasn't paying attention. People are like waving their hands at me like, don't sit down, don't sit down. Well, and I mean, I what are the odds that you late. even found the shit on the chair? I mean, you know what I mean? Like you could have <laughs> sat down and it would have been bad just to smell it. But yeah, and it wasn't just a turd. It was like a loose <laughs> stool. Oh, I'm going to throw up. Oh, my <laughs> sorry, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> but. I should have known because everybody, like, it was the only seat available on the subway. And I was like, oh, look, I'm lu my lucky day. I got a seat. But but aren't you skeeved out? There's, sh there's human shit all over you. You don't know. I mean, it's probably a sick person. I mean, is drinking that important to you to go to a, hey, well, it is. I, I'm, yeah. 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 What are you is. asking? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I heard you fell down on the street and you wrecked your hand. What, what You know, were oh, you drinking? Yeah. No, I was running. Oh, oh, look at that. Did you break yeah, it? It's. Uh, I think so. I mean, Woody, aren't you in pain? You haven't gone anywhere to have it looked at? No, I'm going to see how bad it gets. It's all kind of gooey today. And I think I you know. can go now. Yeah, because it's and I'm like My stomach's queasy, too, for the last day or so. Yeah, yeah man, you're, you're pretty fucking macho. Can you macho. move that finger? Thanks. No, not really. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's probably broken. Oh, God. Can I tell you something real quick? Okay. I'm going to be a dad again. I, I was afraid he was going to say that. <laughs> Keep that to yourself. No, congratulations, Richard. <laughs> Thank you, Robin. <laughs> you mean the guy who made the decision to sit and shit and wear it to a bar is going to be somebody's father again? Oh, yeah. How is Bobby going to take this, Howard? Oh, you, you hear Bubby in the background. <laughs> you would think, like, you know, Bubby's a tough kid. You know, Bubby cries a lot and screams and has to get his way. Not, you know, no, that was, like, he, that day was something. That was tough. Different, because okay. both his parents were not, like, paying attention to him. Well, well what's going to happen when you have a new baby and you can't pay attention to Bubby? Well, I'll be on Bubby duty and, and my wife will be on new baby duty. And you'll be sitting in duty. <laughs> I'll be sitting in duty. There'll be a lot of duty going on. <laughs>